Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we've been rolling along with our little e-commerce store here. We've set up products. We've tested out our PayPal with the sandbox, make sure, making sure everything's going to work. Let's dive in and create a shop page. Now we're going to use a fantastic Divi builder for this and we're going to use the shop module. So let's go ahead and create a new page. I'm going to go up to the top the plus icon hit new page and I'm going to give it a title and I'm going to use the Divi Builder I'm going to build from scratch and I'm going to have one row with one column inside which I'm going to put the shop module now Divi comes as standard with all these modules and as you can see there's a whole bunch for WooCommerce once you've got WooCommerce installed also. So let's add the shop module and <laughs> shop modules fantastic. Okay we can decide what we want to view recent products featured sale products top rated product category well I'm going to put product category I'm going to say all categories now, I don't have that many but let's select say 20 I don't think I've got more than that and as you can see it's just filled it with my products here and we can go through and customize this is for the shop page itself so we want all of our products on here really and you can display a few and then have pagination at the bottom so they go to a different page but we haven't got enough to do that we'll just leave it as it is now you can choose a column layout one two three four five etc I'm going to leave mine just as it is I'll let that with four it works for me you can choose to have it default sorting popularity rating oldest to newest price low to high etc or if you turn pagination on let's have a look where pagination is you can let your customers choose for themselves because you get the default sorting box at the top here they can choose for themselves I think I'm going to just put it as it is and leave mine like that but that's an option that you can use if you want to now we don't have to have a link to anywhere because these are all going to link to their individual product pages uh, if you want to put a background in that's fine I'm going to use some dividers in a minute just to give our page a little bit of style here let's go over to our design an overlay now the overlay is what you see when I'm hovering over it it sort of goes that sort of white color there so let's go in there and I'm going to change the background color to blue but you want to be able to see the product because if I hover over it now you can't see the product so let's just left click on here pull the opacity down so we can see the product but we still got that sort of blue overlay transparent semi transparent overlay over there now it's got an icon in the middle of it you can choose whatever icon you want and you can also if you want to change the color let's give ours this kind of purpley color we've got for our uh, little logo up there there we go you got that sort of little purpley icon there that's fine let's move on down the image you can give it rounded corners if you want to I'm gonna leave mine square but if you have got the chain highlighted like it is at the moment it'll do all four at once for you and you're not gonna see much because well you can see it on that one because most of them have got light backgrounds see it's now got rounded corners at the edge that's an option but I'm going to leave mine as is image border I might give it a little border just to make it stand out a bit let's say give it two picks dark border just highlights them a little bit again of course this is entirely up to you how you like to style your store now image border color you can change there could make it blue I think I prefer the black actually you can have solid dotted dashed etc 
For me, solid always works better. Box shadow. Let's give it a little bit of box shadow. Make it stand out even just a little bit more. You can change your box shadow horizontal and vertical position, the blur strength and the spread strength. But for me, the default one like there works absolutely fine. Now, if you wanted to, you could have this as an interior shadow rather than exterior, but I prefer the, the, in, the exterior. The, really, the interior works best on sections and things like that. Now, I don't want to change the image hue, saturation, brightness, or any of those filters there, because the images that I got work fine for me. Okay, we don't have any star ratings, but if we did, you could change the color of them right here, set the size. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to save that. I'm going to go into our section. I'm going to add a divider in the background just to make this a little more interesting looking. And it's another great feature of Divi. So I'm going to hit the settings button on the section there. I'm going to go to design. I'm going to go to dividers. Top one, I'm going to select, say that one there. I want to make it blue and I want to take the opacity down a little bit something like that I want to make it a lot bigger and I think I want to flip it the other way around so at the moment it's 100 picks what if I say 40% let's try 40% yeah something like that that works fine and I want to flip it the other way. So divide a flip, so it's going the other way. That's great. And you could put it on top of the, your section content if you want to. That's not going to work in this case because it'll hide your products if you put it on top right there. And I really don't want that. So we want it underneath. Now let's slide back up and do the bottom one. And I'll do a similar one but I want it the other way around as well. You'll see if we go down to the bottom, it's right there. Again, I'll make it that blue. I'm going to pull the opacity down a little bit. So it's a little bit paler blue. Again, I'm going to say divide height. Let's give it 40%. And I want to flip it the other way too. You can make it repeat if you want to, so it sort of razor saws like that, but I really don't want to do that personally. So we'll keep it to one. Uh, divide a flip, yeah, we want to flip it the other way around. And that's probably all I need to do right there. So now if we roll up, we've got a little bit of color to our page, and it's sort of offsetting it a bit against the background there, our little computers all right so let's go back into our shop mode and just edit our text and price and get them the way we want to and also we'll change our sale tag here so we're going to go section is the blue one row is the green one module is the dark one back into our shop module let's go down to design and customize the text well, at the moment that's not too bad so we've only got a title text and a price text so we'll customize the title text I think I want it central and let's make it black because that should stand out over everything there that's fine and might bring it up a little bit and let's make it semi-bold There we go, that's fine. And let's move on down a little bit and go to price. I don't want any text shadow. To me, that kind of makes things look a little blurry when it's small text like that. But of course, that's entirely up to you. Okay, price text. Let's have that, that sort of uh, purpley color we used before. And again, we'll make it semi bold. We'll make it a central. Color wise, let's put that color in. OK, 
Okay, that's readable. I just want to make it a little bit bigger. There we go, that works for me. You can add a bit of text shadow if you want to. But again, for me, I really don't think I'll have that on there. OK, well, let's change our little sail badge thing there. And again, I'll use exactly the same color. As you can see, it's changed it to that now. So we're customizing this, and this is looking more like a real shop here. Now, I'm not seeing, I'm sure I've got some sale items here somewhere. There's one, the price is sort of muted out there. I think I'm going to leave that there. Now, remember, this is just for this shop module. You can have different colors and different sizes for any other shop module you happen to add to your site here. So I think we're in pretty good shape there. So let's save this save our page changes while we're here let's look what it's going to look like on a tablet yeah that's fine You've got that little background in there and let's have a look on a cell phone yeah I think that'll work fine too great so we're happy with that let's go ahead and publish this page Once saved, let's exit the Visual Builder. And that is a quick and easy way to make a shop page, no time at all. Now, the only other thing I'd like to do with this, if we go back to our dashboard, we'll make it the front page for the time being. We will be customizing the front page a lot more than this, but seeing as it's the only one we've got, we'll make it the front page and we'll get rid of this crazy template that we put in here for an example earlier. So let's go to the dashboard. And we want to go down to WooCommerce to the settings and set this as our shop page, set our new page as our shop page. So it doesn't default to the generic WooCommerce shop page. So let's go to products. And here's the shop page, a little drop down on the right hand side. We should see our new page in here. It was called text shop. There it is right there. There we go. scroll down a little bit save the changes now let's go to our Divi theme customizer and we'll set that as our front page home page settings static page all we need to do is choose the page that we want and again just left click it'll show you all the pages that you've got text shop So there we have it. We have built our first page for our shop really quickly. Like I say, we're going to build a lot more complex home page for this, but I just wanted to demonstrate the shop module to you and the features that it has. It's really useful. So let's go ahead and publish these changes. And we are good to go. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.